Nicola Sturgeon signed a document promising that the 2014 Scottish independence referendum was a once-in-a-generation opportunity and therefore indirectly promised not to push for a second referendum. Scottish First Minister Nicola Sturgeon has kept open the possibility to hold a second referendum on independence next year. Ms Sturgeon has only revealed she wants the vote to be in the early part of the next Scottish parliamentary term, following elections to Holyrood in spring 2021. If the Scottish National Party SNP, wins a majority, senior figures believe it will give them the mandate to demand a referendum, regardless of what Prime Minister Boris Johnson thinks about it. So far, since the start of 2020, opinion polls have given yes campaigners a consistent lead over their unionist rivals. However, Mr. Johnson has repeatedly said he will refuse to allow a plebiscite, leading to unanswered questions about what the SNP will do next. That is a subject that divides hardliners who want a Catalonia-style illegal referendum and those prepared to play the long game who think the refusal to allow a vote will only fuel support for independence. As a constitutional standoff between the Prime Minister and Ms Sturgeon now seems inevitable, a document signed by the SNP leader, which promises that the last referendum would be a once-in-a-generation opportunity, has resurfaced. The Scottish government published a multi-million pound white paper in 2014 months before their first nationwide vote, which set out how the country would break up the UK. Signed by Ms Sturgeon, then Deputy First Minister, the 670-page document, under Section 557, laid down the Scottish government commitment to the referendum. It came after protracted discussions with Downing Street, during which Ms Sturgeon also put her name to the 2012 Edinburgh Agreement committing herself to accepting the will of the Scottish people. The agreement saw a Section 30 order laid in the Scottish Parliament and at Westminster to confirm Holyrood had the power necessary for a single question referendum. Referencing this Edinburgh Agreement, the White Paper, also signed by former First Minister Alex Salmond, said, the Edinburgh Agreement states that a referendum must be held by the end of 2014. There is no arrangement in place for another referendum on independence. 